Hi everyone, I am so excited. I'm in the car and I am off to our unicorn sanctuary to see how Betty and Mags and Hans and Simon are getting on. Now, overall, we could not be more thrilled with their progress. All the unicorns are absolutely thriving. And the big news is that they've started producing unicorn milk at last. So I'm excited to get to the sanctuary, see the unicorn milk and see just what it can do for our art and our creativity. Hi guys, it's Stuart here. I've got some really, really exciting news. I've just popped down to our unicorn sanctuary to check on the unicorns. The good news is Betty, Mags, Simon and Hans are doing super well. They're absolutely thriving. We rescued them, we did the right thing. But the big news is they've started bringing to us in the studio every day some of their unicorn milk. And we started bottling that for you guys to use in your art. Yes, this is pure, fresh unicorn milk and no unicorns were harmed in the making of unicorn milk. I'm here to ask for your help to support the amazing work that we're doing at the Unicorn Sanctuary. Obviously, the unicorns rely on your help and support. We need to feed them, we need to shoe them, we need to train them, and we need to help with their psychology and help them get through the winter ahead. Oh, wow, that was just absolutely unbelievable. I can't tell you what an amazing time I had at the Unicorn Sanctuary. They really are the most beautiful and wonderful creatures. And you can see why only those pure of heart can actually see these wonderful beings. It's actually um, really quite emotional. I, I wasn't expecting that. Um, when I remember how vulnerable they were when they came, especially Betty, like seeing them now, like they're just happy. And um, to have given them a new chance at life just makes it so much worthwhile. But it's an emotional thing because there are only four unicorns. There are very few left in the wild and we can only do so much to conserve them. And I really just don't know how we can protect that species. Anyway, I have my bottle of unicorn milk and I can't wait to get back to the studio and put this through its paces. I think this is gonna be quite possibly the most beautiful pearlescent top coat ever. Okay guys, so I'm back in the studio. I'm so excited. I've got my bottle of unicorn milk and now I'm gonna see what it does in art. I've got three paints here today. I've got black 3.0, Raven and the pinkest pink, but as the new liquid. I'm gonna do a little strip of those on this piece of paper and then I'm gonna paint over them with this amazing pearlescent unicorn milk from our lovely unicorn family. The unicorn farmers told me it's really important to give the milk a really good stir before you use it, so I'm doing that. Okay, I'm just going to do a nice layer over each colour. So that's now dry, and I think you'll agree that's an absolutely beautiful magic pearlescent effect. So you can put unicorn milk over any paint and it will do this absolutely beautiful, beautiful finish. Guys, we can't do this important work without you, without your support. These beautiful creatures need your help. Just one bottle of unicorn milk could buy hands a new set of shoes or keep Betty in food for six months. So dig deep, support a unicorn today, order your unicorn milk, and make that pledge. The unicorns are depending. So, thank you so much for your support. Click the link below. Find out a bit more about what we're doing with these wonderful, beautiful, magical creatures. Use unicorn milk in your work and share how you get on with the hashtag Culture Hustle. I love you so much. Bye. Oh, what's this? A little surprise from Mags there. Unicorn poo.